connected. Good evening, everybody. Today I'm going to be installing an electric tongue jack on the uh, Forest River Wolf Pup. Uh, you know how it is cranking one of these things up, even on this Wolf Pup. By the time, if you have to crank this thing a lot by hand, it just it will just wear you out cranking the jack. So uh, this uh, Strongberg Carlson Products makes a, a electric tongue jacks all different sizes. This is the actually the the lightest one because it's a pretty small trailer. So this is 2,500 pound capacity. It has an 18 inch lift and uh, it's totally watertight, sealed motor, 12 volts, DC. It has a level built on it. It also has an option that I'll show you where if you're out and your battery goes dead or something happens that you can actually crank this by hand and still go ahead and jack your trailer up to put it on and off or off your vehicle. So uh, comes it up. Pretty nice box. Um, as I said, it also has a working light on it to show the working. It has the switches all built on. It's waterproof so you can be controlling everything from right here. Um, but uh, Stromberg Carlson, they make uh, super quality products and that's why I went with them to get a jack for the camper. So I wouldn't get out and have one that's going to break down. I'll get a good one to start with. And 2,500 pounds lifting a ton of this will be just no problem at all. So the first thing we're going to do is we'll go ahead and get started and remove the stock jack from this. I believe that uh, I've already got my um, jacks down on the trailer and they should hold it up fine while I relieve the pressure from this, take this jack off and put the new one on. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do is remove this jack here. we got to relieve the pressure from it before we do. Make sure that both your wheels are blocked both directions from rolling and that you're on your uh, jacks that way you're holding the thing up solid and we should be able to just go ahead and loosen this up and relieve the pressure off this jack and we're going to move these three here 9 16 bolts now different campers may vary on what size bolts they have on them but I'd say most of them are will be this size 9 16 socket Okay, now we'll remove this jack, lay it aside. So now would be a good time if you do happen to have an older camper and this surface is rusted to go ahead and wire brush this, sand it or whatever and clean this surface up and uh, repaint it before you put the new jack on it to keep get some good rust proof uh, paint put on there. But mine's new so it's clean so we'll go ahead and get the other one and get it set on here. Okay, got this here in the back of my little Ranger pickup. This is the handle that I was talking about. That uh, in an emergency situation, you need to jack it up and you don't have no power. You can still use this and jack it up by hand. I'll show you that here in a little bit. Okay, all we have to it is we have a looks like a spare fuse, our instructions, and the motor itself. So take this. And one of the first things we're going to want to do is there's a foot on the bottom of this, which is nice because my camper doesn't even come with a foot. They just have that little stem sticking down, and that's it. But this does come with a foot. So that's going to be nice. I don't have to purchase one of them separate. Take this off out of the way while we install it. And uh, I want you to note that whenever it tells you about retracting, uh, retracting, it tells you on here to do not retract beyond this point. So when you're raising that thing up, don't crank it up past this. Uh, you don't want to crank it up too high or too low. So it just indicates there a line to stop at when you're cranking it up. So let me go ahead and we'll turn the camera we'll get this thing set in there. Alright, so we're going to set this right in the same spot. It's pretty much only going to go one way because you have the three bolts 
and one in the front and two on the sides here so to, it's not hard to line it up and figure out how it goes real simple so we'll hold the wire all the way we'll go ahead and get our bolts and stick back in there Now I want to take this foot and put it back on here. Like so now I have a nice little pad to set on here instead of just that stem. These chains out of the way. Now we need to go ahead and take this, run our wire up here to the battery, and connect it. Okay, next thing we're going to do. I went ahead and crimped it on, but I got a heavy crimp terminal. It's a ring terminal. It's also a 5 16 hole to fit this 5 16 bolt on here. You'll be putting it on the positive side. You won't be connecting anything to the ground because this jack should complete its ground through being bolted to the frame. So all we got to do, remove this, five, this nut here, half inch nut, put our ring terminal on the positive. Crank it back down, and we should be good to go. Be careful when doing this that you do not touch this positive because this is positive right now. Since I've got it on that bolt, don't touch it to this negative, to your fuel tank, or any of that stuff. Be very careful about that. Just like that. Take our battery cover and slide it back over here where it goes. That way we don't have no. Nothing sticking out. I'm going to short out against anything. Okay, all we got to do now is crank the camper back up, put the weight on it. Uh, I wouldn't uh, crank this up all the way. It does have a line on there, but there's no need in, in pushing it. There's no sense in it being all the way cranked up anyway. You don't need it that high when it's on the vehicle. Um, so we'll just run this thing down. It says it's 18 inches of travel which is about the same as what my stock jack was and it lifted it uh, with it this high and it's this high because this hill that I'm on is is the spotted parts of here by the house is not very flat so we'll go ahead and run this thing down. Make sure to reach. Safety chains up out of the way. Stabilizer jacks, no problem. This thing ain't even, it's not even phasing. I need to run back down, that's a little too high. Look at my level here and get it pretty close. About right there is going to be close. It's going to be real close. Okay. So that worked great. I mean, this is going to be a whole big lifesaver over having to crank this thing up every time. Uh, because in the summer we'll be using it a lot, probably moving a lot, so it's going to save a lot of hassle. Let me show you this other feature. Alright, this is a very good idea they came up with in case you're out, your battery goes dead, um, something happens that uh, you can't use the power, but you need to jack this thing up. Um, you know, you need to still get it on the camper no matter what, whether you got power or not. So just remove this level on here. Just half quarter turn or half turn just pops it right out and take your handle that's supplied with it so you can just stow this away in your compartment with your uh, you know your stabilizer handle so it worked good for just keeping it in the same place and then right there you got a handle 
It's actually easier to crank, crank this thing than it is to crank the jack. It's extremely easy. So this is something that you're not going to use all the time. It's going to be for uh, an emergency situation where you don't have power. If you got power, you're good to go. And I'm sure this jack, it's, it's made by uh, Stromberg Carlson uh, products. So you know it's going to be first class. It's going to last years and years of good service. So uh, it's totally waterproof. Got the light on it. Got the waterproof switches. Um, it's ready to go. And they also, remember, they make this thing for a lot bigger campers than this. So you can get, uh, this is 2,500 pounds, so you can get a lot bigger one. And this model here, in case you're interested in one for a small camper, this is 2,500 pound uh, capacity. This is called the Jet 2500. Stromberg Carlson Jet 2500. I'll post a link below to their website so you can check them out. But there's a lot of other places that carry their products. Uh, the, so, anyway, thank you all for watching Woodman Adventures. I have a lot more other products to install, install and uh, do videos on, so stay tuned. Still got more Africa Twin stuff coming up, so we've got more Jeep stuff coming up. Lots more camper stuff. I got all kinds of camper stuff, bike racks and stuff that I need to install and um, all kinds of stuff. So it's going to be busy here for long posting videos. Thank you all for watching. Please click the thumbs up on this video. Always subscribe. Please subscribe. Check out all my other videos and I'll catch you all in the next video.